So hello friends, I am Dr. Anshul Bansal again joining you on the An Academy platform. As you all know, I am here to teach you orthopedics. Uh, on this platform, we will study orthopedics in depth so that not only you can crack your NEET PG, INICT, FMG like competitive examinations, but also your professional university Bansal, examinations. Okay. And here we will uh, lay special emphasis on clinical based scenarios and questions, images and x-rays to help you crack your next examination as well as uh, it will help you in the uh, changing need PG questions. Okay. Currently I am working as an orthopedic resident doctor in SMS hospital Jaipur. In today's class we will study about a very short and important topic that is avascular necrosis. Uh, chote form mein isko bolte hai AVN. Okay, so let's start today's class. Before starting this class, I like to guide you through the various subscription plans available for Need PG on on an academy. The first paid subscription plan is your plus subscription. The plus subscribers will get access to both the live and recorded classes, the question banks formed by the top most faculty for NEET PG in India as well as you can compete in live tests and quizzes and study on any device of your choice because you can log into multiple devices with the same account and also for subscribers of 12 months or more we will be providing you with the printed notes. You can anytime use this code to get extra 10% off on your subscription plan. The second one and the best one is your iconic subscription in which apart from the things that I have mentioned earlier in extra you will get the prep ladder and all of the prep ladder including its entire Q bank, the video lectures, the rapid revision courses, the grand test, everything and also on an academy extra you will get while lab, uh, well structured and strategic live batch wise courses and also we will send you an individual assessment of every test that you give so that you can find your lacuna or the topics and the subtopics in which you need more revision okay you can use this code anytime to get extra 10 percent off and focusing on different types of examinations like the fmg the next and the need pg we have uh, started dedicated badges for the following examinations and you can join this courses using this code and you can get extra 10% off and uh, we have formulated a special one month package for the need PG because this year's need PG is scheduled in September hardly 20 days are left only so personally speaking also this is the best subscription or the best concised form of revision package available for the need pg here you will get everything that you need for the last one month the tips and tricks the high yield mcqs the topics and the subtopics the grand test the live test clinical based scenarios the recent advances the recent changes all of it you will get in this one month package it is available for just 4500 so quickly go and grab it this is the best thing that you will need in the last one month okay and also as i've told you multiple times that grand tests are sabse important at least three to four grand tests aapko dena hi hai every week and don't get afraid of giving the grand test ki i'll waste time i'll be not able to revise the theory no grand test is the best way to revise for neat pg or any competitive examination as well as not just giving the grand test going through its explanation whether the your answer is wrong or correct you must revise the explanations of the grand test also so yes give your grand test here is a uh, schedule for a grand test series on an academy so you can enroll for this also and for the subscribers who will be subscribing for 12 months or more we are running a limited time period offer in which you will get two months of that subscription absolutely free and for our MBBS students we have started a four year subscription plan and we are giving a heavy discount currently on this in which the iconic subscription is available for just 75,000 for the entire four years so quickly go and avail this offer and also I would like you to suggest to 
go for the subscription plans for longer duration because as you can see the per month cost of the plan decreases significantly on going for the higher duration plan and also we have special classes on the unacademy app for that you just need to download the app which is absolutely free and you need to subscribe on the app using my code which is also absolutely free my code is anshul b10 these special classes are special because here you will get live classroom like feeling which are very hard to come by in this covid times you can ask your doubts there and there only from your educators and also you can participate in polls you'll never miss a class and you can watch the class anytime anywhere on your an academy app as well as you will be provided with the digital lecture notes okay and also we are running a bugs bounty program in which if you find any error in any of the content or slides of our educators you can contact our uh, team from the link given below and if you are found correct you will be awarded with handsome prizes and remember monday is a bugs bounty day okay now let's start today's lecture that is a vascular necrosis let's crack neat pg with an academy so what is a vascular necrosis a vascular necrosis naam se pata chal raha hai a vascular yani blood supply kam hone ki wajah se due to less of the vascular supply the bone will get necrosed this is called as the a vascular necrosis and this blood supply seriously jeopardized in fracture or dislocation or any other systemic diseases okay now the consequences of this will be it will lead to deformation of the joint and the bone and few years later it will lead to the osteoarthritis which will cause pain and limitation of the movement of your joint okay the causes the causes are the basic causes interruption of the blood supply so the causes can be any trauma in the joint or the bone like dislocation of the joint or uh, cancer treatment ki wajah se if you are taking radiotherapy then also you can uh, have a vascular necrosis because it harms the bone and the vessels and also some conditions which cause fatty deposits in blood vessels due to high level of cholesterol and sedentary lifestyle they can also cause the avascular necrosis and certain diseases especially sickle cell anemia and your gaucher's disease are highly associated with avn now risk factors we have already discussed that trauma is a major risk factor especially if it is intra articular fracture or dislocation with avulsion or chip fracture these are highly susceptible to avn and irrational and high steroid use uh, like for the gym purpose or the body building especially the corticosteroid prednisolone they cause a vascular necrosis and in the young population this is one of the most common cause of a vascular necrosis we get many patient in our opds regularly which give a history of prolonged steroid use and also we have got uh, abhi tak two patients in our opd which have come with a vascular necrosis of hip in the initial stages only and they had a history of prolonged steroid use for covid a patient in my opd mein aaya tha that was on in icu for around 1 1 and a half month and later he developed avn uh, just because of irrational use of steroids in the covid times also okay and the third risk factors is the excessive use of the alcohol it can also lead to a vascular necrosis excessive use of alcohol or smoking these are high risk factors for avn now another risk factor is irrational use of bisphosphonates which are used for the treatment of osteoporosis and these uh, long term use agar aap karte ho bisphosphonates like alendronate and 
other tronates ka so they tend to increase the bone density but they also develop osteonecrosis if used irrationally for a long time and the most common site of osteonecrosis because avn remember is also called as osteonecrosis is and the most common site for osteonecrosis following bisphosphonates use is your jaw okay and this bisphosphonates are also used to treat some other diseases so aise disease mein jab aap bisphosphonates ka use karoge you have to rule out avn in follow up of this patients like metastatic static breast cancer or multiple myeloma and radiotherapy and organ transplantation patients especially that of the kidney they are all susceptible to avascular necrosis okay remember this thing now medical conditions which are associated with avascular necrosis are pancreatitis diabetes gouchers hiv aids sle and sickle cell anemia these all medical conditions have a increased chances of avn okay now complications remember avn hamesha with time gradually it will increase okay uh, gradually avn will increase if untreated and uh, if avn sets in completely there is no other option than to either excise that part or if it is involve the joint space and you require the mobility of that joint you have to replace that joint you have to go for the plasty okay so baad mein in the later stages the bone will collapse and the joint space will go into the osteoarthritis okay and the this bone will lose its smooth shape which will lead to the arthritis okay so this is a progressive diseases disease and it is very hard to treat or it is very hard to stop the progression of the disease okay remember this thing now prevention how can you prevent avascular necrosis first of all judicial use of steroids and bisphosphonates limited use of alcohol and smoking check the levels of cholesterol they should be within the limits okay so if you do all these you can stop avascular necrosis and remember avascular necrosis jo hota hai avascular necrosis generally young adult population mein it is more common okay whereas osteoarthritis is common in adults but avascular necrosis is more common in the young adults so you have to treat this condition because 60 70 years ka koi patient hai and avascular necrosis sets in so we can uh, we have uh, so we can leave it as such also because zyada range of movement usko chahiye nahi is time pe but if it is young adult you have to treat it aggressively that's why it is a very big problem for a orthopedician avascular necrosis now the common sites for avascular necrosis the most common site is your femur head okay most common site very important is your femur head due to neck of femur fracture very important and why it happens due to its precarious blood supply which we'll study in the later part of the slides and posterior dislocation of the hip is may they are most common or is may se bhi if you will have to choose it is neck of femur fracture now scaphoid scaphoid mein the waist of the scaphoid ka agar fracture ho gaya hai so it will lead to avn of the proximal 1/3 of the scaphoid and second is talus if the fracture is through the neck of the talus it will lead to the avn of the body of the talus okay remember this thing now there are different stages of avascular necrosis so agar avascular necrosis of hip hai so for hip we have a very important classification and you have to remember this classification which is fickets 
classification okay it is called as fickets classification in stage 1 x-rays will appear normal in MRI you can see changes and that is edema abhi stage 1 mein x-ray mein you will not see any abnormality but in MRI you will see edema in stage 2 x-ray mein bhi changes aane lagenge but there will be only crescent or uh, crescent sign or subchondral fractures etc but there will be no collapse and stage c will three will show the classical signs of avascular necrosis so crescent sign agar aap se puche to starting stage 2 mein ho jati hai but agar aap se vitta puche crescent sign is seen in which stage you have to go for stage 3 and if anybody asks you what is the major sign of collapse of femur head that is also the crescent sign okay remember up crescent sign me kya hota hai we'll study later now stage 4 there it there is complete collapse of the femur head on the x-rays and there is signs of cartilage damage yani joint be involved hone lag gaya hai acetabular floor or acetabular cavity is also getting involved this will lead to the osteoarthritis so stage 4 will be your osteoarthritis okay so uh, here is the blood supply of the femur head blood supply of femur head teen jage se aati hai and the major two vessels are first is the medial circumflex femoral artery and second is your retinacular arteries on the lateral side these two are the major blood supply or neck femur fracture ke under these two blood supplies are cut off so only a blood supply basti hai that is blood blood vessels from ligamentum teres or the fovular arterioles and this is generally not enough to supply the entire femur head and this will lead to the avascular necrosis of the femur head Okay, so this is your Fickert classification, Fickert or Arlet classification as we have seen four stages of the stage one may only edema in MRI is seen stage two that is the pre collapse stage in which there will be subchondral cysts and sclerosis in the x-rays and stage three stage of collapse just may have classical crescent sign dikta hai. Okay, and in MRI you will see necrosis of the bone and stage 4 is the advanced stage this may you will get to see the arthritis involvement of the joint and the acetabulum okay so this is called as the Fickett and Arlet classification okay here also you can see clinical features will be minimum but there will be no radiographic features in x-ray in stage 1 stage 2 may 3, 4, here you can see the clinical features will increase as you, as the disease get progressed, okay, and crescent sign stage 3 mein dikhega, stage 2 mein kya dikhega, subchondral cyst and sclerosis and all, but in stage 3 also joint space will be normal, remember stage 3 mein bhi joint space normal hogi, so stage 3 tak, Till stage 3, it is very important to note that till stage 3, you can go for other procedure, procedures other than the complete joint replacement. You can go for drilling, burr hole drilling. Okay? There is a uh, spe special type of operation or procedure in which you take a hollow drill bit and from the, uh, that, in the femur head you do burr holes with that okay so till stage 3 you can do that procedure but if it is beyond stage 3 you have to go for the joint replacement okay you have to go for the joint replacement now, a core classification hai femur head ke hi AVN ke liye and that classification is called as the Steenberg classification. That classification is called as the Steenberg classification or the modified Fickett 
or lead classification in which stages 0 to 3 are same as ficket but in stage 4 5 and 16 stages or banadi in stage 4 you will see flattening of the femur head to femur head is a round contour mein hota hai normally there will be flattening of the femur head in stage 5 there will be osteoarthritis narrowing of the joint and there can be involvement of the acetabulum and but in stage 6 there it is there are very advanced degenerative changes in the stage 6 so this is your Steenberg so you have to remember Fickett and Arlet classification and just the name of this classification that is the Steenberg classification and these are for avian and that to avian of femur head okay so these are the sequential changes on the x-ray that you will see in any avian patient and the first sign and the most important or pathognomic sign of avian is crescent sign okay crescent sign it is the crescent sign then you can see osteoporosis sclerosis subchondral cysts okay uh, loss of spherical weight bearing dome of the femur head because it will get flattened there will be collapse of the head or there can be secondary osteoarthritis also so here you can see the crescent sign which refers to what is crescent sign it is a linear cleft due to subchondral fracture there is subchondral fracture ki wajah se linear cleft ya ek Kali space ban jati hai. This is called as the crescent sign. See, this is the femur head, and there is this subchondral cleft sort of thing. This is called as the crescent sign. Here you can see a line. See, you can see just above my cursor. This is called as the crescent sign. And in MRI, also, this is your MRI. You can see the crescent sign here. Okay, this is your crescent sign for a vascular necrosis okay so a vascular hip may you can see this is your normal the right side is your normal hip joint in which you can appreciate the femur head it is the neck of the femur this is your pubic rami and the obturator foramen this is your acetabulum both forming the hip joint okay but here you can see it is stage four where there is involvement of the joint cavity here you can see there is collapse of the femur head collapse okay there is collapse of the femur head with osteoarthritis okay this is avian hip in the mri here this is your normal hip joint and this is your avascular necrosis or osteonecrotic lesion here you can see in the t2 images you can see that there is collapse of the femur head, flattening of the femur head with subchondral cysts and the crescents you can see. So this is your MRI finding of the avascular necrosis of the hip. Okay, so scaphoid may be avascular necrosis is very common because it is supplied by from a branch of the radial artery and a dhyan rakhna scaphoid mein you have three parts proximal one third middle one third and the distal one third distal one third is called tubercle middle one third is called the waist and to be specific in dono ka jo junction hota hai that is called the waist so remember most common site for fracture is waist and the most common site for avian is the proximal one third so fracture waist of scaphoid hoga so there will be uh, avian in the proximal one third part of this scaphoid remember this thing okay and here you can see this is your scaphoid fracture scaphoid and there are you can see these hyperdense osteoarthritic type of changes where there is collapse of the bone okay here you can see in mri image there is osteonecrosis of the scaphoid so this is avian of scaphoid this is avian of scaphoid very important now the third most common bone just may 
ए वेस्कुलर नेक्रोसिस होता है दैट इज योर टेलस एंड दैट टू इसमें फ्रैक्चर होगा नेक पे बट एवियन विल सेट इन द एंटायर बॉडी ऑफ द टेलस ओके दिस इज योर टेलस दिस इज योर कैल्केनियम दिस इज योर टिबिया दिस इज योर टेलस this is your navicular and the cuneiform so here you can see this is a classical avian of talus in the mr picture here also you can see this is your neck or neck ke fracture pe here you can see avian is setting in dheere dheere ओके नाउ डायग्नोसिस डायग्नोसिस आपको एक तो हिस्ट्री अच्छे से लेनी है पेशेंट्स की देन यू हैव टू कोरिलेट इट विद द एक्सरे फाइंडिंग्स और द एमआरआई फाइंडिंग्स दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंड द क्लिनिकल फाइंडिंग्स जनरली देयर इज पेनफुल लिमिटेशन ऑफ द मूवमेंट ऑफ द जॉइंट एंड सपोज देयर इज एनी इंट्रा आर्टिकुलर ट्रॉमा सो आफ्टर द ट्रॉमा पेन होगा बट दैट विल सबसाइड वेन देर इज हीलिंग बट अगेन आफ्टर अ गैप ऑफ वन टू टू इयर्स यू द पेशेंट विल कंप्लेन ऑफ प्रोग्रेसिव डिक्रीज इन द रेंज ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑफ द जॉइंट विथ पेनफुल वॉकिंग और पेनफुल लिम मूवमेंट ओके सो दिस इज ए वेस्कुलर नेक्रोसिस का डायग्नोसिस ऐसे करना है आपको एंड एज आई टोल्ड यू पेन एंड स्टिफनेस आर लेट फाइंडिंग्स आफ्टर वन टू टू इयर्स ऑफ द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ एवियन यूल गेट दिस क्लिनिकल सिम्टम्स सो रेडियोलॉजिकली यूल गेट स्क्लेरोसिस ओके स्क्लेरोसिस बिकॉज द ए वेस्कुलर बोन इज अनेबल टू शेयर डिसयूज ऑस्टियोपोरोसिस एज अकर्स इन द सराउंडिंग नॉर्मल बोन सो ऑन एक्सरे नेक्रोटिक बोन डेंस दिखेगी देर कैन बी डिफॉर्मिटी ड्यू टू द कोलेप्स एंड इन द लास्ट और एडवांस स्टेजेस देर विल बी ऑस्टियो आर्थराइटिस लीडिंग टू द डिमिनिश जॉइंट स्पेस ऑस्टियोफाइट्स यू कैन सी ओके सो दिस इज योर ए वेस्कुलर निक्रोसिस एंड इन द बोन स्कैन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली यू सी ए वेस्कुलर निक्रोसिस इज अ कोल्ड एरिया जहां पे अपटेक क्या हो जाएगा कम हो जाएगा यर अपटेक विल बी लेस वेर एज ऑस्टियोमाइलाइटिस और द ट्यूमर्स विल अपियर एज वॉर्म एरियाज वे देर विल बी इंक्रीज अपटेक बट ए वेस्कुलर निक्रोसिस इन बोन स्कैन विल अपियर एज अ कोल्ड एरिया ओके रिमेंबर दिस नाउ ट्रीटमेंट ट्रीटमेंट बेसिकली डिपेंड्स कि एट व्हाट स्टेज दी यू एवेस्कुलर निक्रोसिस इज डायग्नोज एज आई हैव टोल्ड स्टेज टू या थ्री है सो यू कैन गो फॉर द ड्रिल होल ओके यू कैन गो फॉर द ड्रिल होल बट दैट इज ओनली अ प्रोसीजर व्हिच विल decrease the progression or it will halt the progression for some time okay uh, but the treatment of choice or the uh, definitive treatment is your joint replacement only and if adult hai elderly hai or joint replacement is not possible ओके एंड या फिर जॉइंट मोटिलिटी यू डोंट नीड यू कैन डू गो फॉर द एक्सीजन लाइक इन एडल्ट्स आल्सो है ना अगर हिप में है तो ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस इज द प्लास्टी दैट इज द टीएचआर इफ इट इज इन द स्केफॉइड यू कैन गो फॉर द एक्सीजन इट इज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस एंड इफ इट इज इन द टेलस यू कैन गो फॉर एक्सीजन With or without arthrodesis, and अगर adult है और plasty नहीं कर सकता है if only adult, you can go for arthrodesis in elderly population. If it is elderly, you can go for arthrodesis in hip joint also. Or there is one thing that is called as the girdle stone. इस girdle stone में क्या करते हैं? You just simply remove the femur head. So रेंज ऑफ मोशन नहीं होगा लिंपिंग होगी बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली देर विल बी नो पेन ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल 
जो भी आप ट्रीटमेंट करो अदर देन रिप्लेसमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू गो फॉर द डिलेड वेट बियरिंग सो दैट इट इज रिवेस्कुलराइज अच्छे से एंड इट प्रिवेंट्स द कोलैप्स ओके इट टेक्स अराउंड सिक्स टू एट मंथ्स टू रिवेस्कुलराइज इफ यू डू दैट ड्रिल होल वाली थिंग ओके एंड रिवेस्कुलाइजेशन कैसे कर सकते हो आप यू कैन गो फॉर द बोन ग्राफ्ट फ्रॉम द वेस्कुलराइज एरिया ठीक है लाइक वेस्कुलराइज बोन पेडिकल ग्राफ्ट फ्रॉम द जी टी कैन बी ग्राफ्टेड इन टू अ वेस्कुलर फीमोरल हेड इन फ्रैक्चर नेक ऑफ सो वेस्कुलराइज ग्राफ्ट ऑल्सो यू कैन टेक इफ यू आर इन द स्टेज टू और थ्री एक्सीजन इफ इट विल नॉट हेम्पर द मूवमेंट लाइक इन दिस कैफॉइड और रिप्लेसमेंट इन द नेक ऑफ द फीमर और एंड समटाइम्स दिस वेस्कुलर हेड कैन बी रिप्लेस बाय प्रोसेस एज इन द रिप्लेसमेंट ओके हियर यू कैन सी नेक ऑफ फीमर किया है फर्स्टली सीसी स्क्रू से किया है बट हियर यू कैन सी ए वेस्कुलर नेक्रोसिस सेट इन सो वी आर गोइंग फॉर द टोटल जॉइंट रिप्लेसमेंट इन विच फीमर हेड एज वेल एज एसिटाबुलम इज रिप्लेस विद अ प्रोस्थेस इज द एंटायर जॉइंट और अगर सिर्फ फीमर हेड को करे और एसिटाबुलम को नहीं करे दैट इज कॉल्ड एज दी आर्थ्रोप्लास्टी यूनिपोलर एंड बायपोलर दो तरह की होती है ओके सो दिस वॉज अबाउट दी ए वेस्कुलर निक्रोसिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ देर इज वन एक ऐसा ही क्वेश्चन डाला है मैंने कि वॉट इज दी अनादर टर्म सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट ऑस्टियोनिक्रोसिस से कंफ्यूज मत हो जाना ऑस्टियोनिक्रोसिस इज नथिंग बट ए वी एन ओके ऑस्टियोनिक्रोसिस इज नथिंग बट ए वी एन ओके वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो ये एक शॉर्ट सा टॉपिक था अबाउट द एवियन वेरी इजी एंड इनफैक्ट यू विल गेट वेरी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन इन योर नीट पी जी ऑल्सो ठीक है अपन ने आधे घंटे में पूरा टॉपिक कवर कर लिया है ऑलमोस्ट सो येस रीड दिस नाउ इफ यू रीड दिस यूर ओनली टेक टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ओके सो नेक्स्ट आई एम प्लानिंग अ स्पेशल क्लास ऑन वेडनेसडे डेट इज ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑन रिकॉल क्वेश्चन ऑफ नीट पी जी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नीट पी जी एंड एम्स के जो भी क्वेश्चन आए हैं रिकॉल क्वेश्चन इंपॉर्टेंट वन आई हैव इंक्लूडेड इन दिस एट टेन थर्टी पी एम यू जस्ट नीड टू डाउनलोड दी एप विच इज एब्सोल्यूटली फ्री एंड यू हैव टू साइन इन और सब्सक्राइब यूजिंग दिस कोड विच इज ऑल्सो एब्सोल्यूटली फ्री ओके सो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग एनी टॉपिक ऑफ ऑर्थोपेडिक्स और कुछ भी ऑर्थोपेडिक्स में यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्क अभी ओके एंड प्लीज गाइज आई कैन रीड प्लीज आस्क डाउट विच आर रिलेटेड टू ऑर्थोपेडिक्स ओनली ठीक है सो आई गिव यू वन और टू मिनट्स इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्क so and remember eat healthy and take 6 to 8 hours of sleep zyada tension anxiety lene ki zarurat nahi hai uh, fix your uh, time schedule and tomorrow is rakhi so yes happy rakhi to all of you and uh, um, if agar aapka mana hai or if you want you can enjoy with your family for 2 to 3 hours or 4 hours because that uh, that will boost you up and that will be a little change in your routine of just studying so yes you deserve 2 to 3 hours of break tomorrow but only if you want it you can go for it theek hai 3 to 4 hours of break you can do and also ichha ho tabhi you study डोंट सेट आइडली लाइक यू आर नॉट एबल टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट या आपका मन नहीं कर रहा पढ़ाई का बट यू आर जस्ट ओपन यू हैव जस्ट लेफ्ट ओपन योर बुक्स एंड यू आर रनिंग योर इंस्टाग्राम और फेसबुक नो टू आवर्स ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एंड मन से पढ़ाई इज मच बेटर देन सिक्स आवर्स ऑफ जस्ट 
सिटिंग आइडली या मन से पढ़ाई नहीं कर रहे हो सो ये छोटी छोटी चीजें हैं आई नो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट यू मस्ट बी वेरी एंशियस डोंट गेट एंशियस टफ आया सबके लिए आएगा ईजी आया वो भी सबके लिए आएगा यू जस्ट नीड वन सीट ओके एंड द पेपर विल बी ईजी जस्ट इम्प्लीमेंट योर कॉन्सेप्ट एंड डोंट ओवर थिंक ज्यादा दिमाग मत लगाना किसी भी क्वेश्चन में ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस क्लास एवियन एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस लेक्चर इफ यू हैव लाइक दिस लेक्चर प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड यू कैन यूज दिस कोड फॉर एनी सब्सक्रिप्शन प्लान दैट you are planning to buy on an academy not only for the neat pg you can use for the upsc or the ug or board examinations or net examinations everything because ne uh, an academy is the only platform in india jo har tarah ke competitive examination ke liye you provide the best treatment uh, sorry yeah, that provides you the best lectures and the best theory best question it is the best platform so aur bhi kisi cheez ki taiyari karne ke liye you can use this code to get extra 10% off okay so happy rakhi to all of you